Take it back, folks. Take it back 25 years ago. 25 years ago when this happened. Uh, I was the little engine that could. Nobody picked the Dodgers in 88, and they went on. Look at Tommy. Went on to win the World Series, and in the clubhouse was Steve Sachs, among all the other players, right in the middle of it. And Sachs is with us. It's good to see you, Steve. Good to see you, too. Okay. I want to know who picked Tommy up there. That guy has got to I'd be, be strong. But some you know kind what? Strength. I think it was the adrenaline of the moment. Had to be. The adrenaline Had of the be. moment. Now, for us here, it's been 25 years, which we, we think of the Dodgers as one of the great legacy teams. It's shocking to think it's been a quarter of a century. Yeah. It has been, uh, you know, I had such a great time when I was here and, you know, our team in 88 that you saw there, uh, we were supposed to be fourth in our division that year, but, right. uh, you know, we had, we had some really good pitching, we had a lot of team chemistry, and, you know, that goes a long way, uh, you know, through the course of 162. But it seems like if you're winning, the team chemistry is great, mm -hmm. and if you're not winning, the team chemistry, yeah. well, let me go to, to some uh, specifics here. There's a man named Bob Costas, one of the most famous sportscasters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He basically said on national TV, this may be the worst, what was his line? Well, this may be the weakest team that's ever been on a World Series field. Uh, I Boy, mean, did you guys eat that up? Well, we, we posted it in the locker room. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, that gave us some fuel to go out there and, and take on the Mighty A's. But the bigger thing probably was beating the Mets in the, you know, in the in NLCS yeah, because shockingly. they were loaded with talent. Yeah, that's shockingly, what. Mike Socha's big uh, home run Correct. and all of it. All right. Uh, let's bring you up today. What are you up? What are you doing now? Well, what I'm doing is I'm doing a series of clinics, Steve, all over the country uh, for the next month and a half. Uh, we're going to be doing the next one here in Calabasas on November the 30th at Calabasas High School. And really, it's, it's where you're going to get kids, coaches, and managers, all players, and get them in a close setting and teach them some major league stuff as opposed to getting information that may not be as credible as, right. as, as it should be. So this is going to be uh, the start of some good things, uh, you know, from Florida to New York to, to Memphis, Tennessee. You're going to be all over the place for the next month and a half. And if they want to sign up, they should just go to the website at stevesaxbaseball.com and they can register oh, so right there. remember that one, stevesaxbaseball.com. That's an easy one. <laughs> Can I have a little fun with you? Sure. Going to teach them how to throw? <laughs> Let's. Yeah. I you, had somebody you, recently ask me that. You gotta, Are you going to teach us how to throw to there, first? There's a legend with Steve <laughs> Sachs. <laughs> and then as you went through a period of time yeah. where you, you couldn't throw to first base, right? It, it, was, uh, it was the scariest thing I've ever been. Next to losing my parents, Steve, i got to tell you, it's the scariest thing I ever went through because I was on the verge of losing my career. And that's yeah. what I speak about when I do speaking because that's what I've been doing uh, recently for the last five years. Is I'm, a, I'm a motivational speaker. And going out to these places and telling them how you uh, take on you know, the fear and doubt that creep into your, to your psyche can really devastate you. And uh, that's what I had to overcome. We've seen other players' careers ruined because it gets into their head and right. they can't do the simplest thing. Right. What cured you of what you were going through? It was a very simple thing, and it's sitting there right in front of you, is that you just have to gain your confidence back. You can do so much when you're loaded with confidence, and that's what I had to get. My father helped me do that. Mm -hmm. Basically, on the last day of his life, I had a conversation with really? him that changed everything for me. And basically what he told me is you got to go back and get your confidence a little bit at a time, and that's how I overcame that massive throwing problem. And it also is the other thing in sports and in life. You have to think, but you also have to not think. Exactly. And, you can, you can yeah. get out of the way of yourself that's and turn right. that brain off and let it go on autopilot. You were, as I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, they, we, they pulled you up over double a, from double A. Mm -hmm. You were very young. I think he was just 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Suddenly you were in the big leagues, and right. people say, they must think a lot of this guy. Now look at the young guys now. Mm -hmm. Dodgers have Yasiel Puig. Right. What advice would you give Yasiel Puig? Uh, hit the cutoff, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'd say Yasiel Puig has got so much talent. This, this young man is destined to be a big star. Uh, I would just say listen to those coaches and managers. They've got a great crew here in Los Angeles. And, uh, you know, stick to the fundamentals. That will always get you through some trying times. But uh, this young man, you've got to at the same time let that colt run because that's where he's going to be very expressive and be himself is uh, just to go out there and uh, let it again, go. Again, you don't want him thinking too much either, no, do you? No, absolutely not. But, but you, you'd like to get him to one of your clinics. Yeah, he can come there too. Uh, but, but basically just to hone in some of that great talent and all mm -hmm. that, uh, all that uh, you know, fire that he has. If he gets to hone that in, hit the cutoff man, run at the right time, learn the pitcher's moves, these things that he'll gain only through experience, he's going to be a fantastic player. All right, Steve Sachs is going to be holding that one-day baseball clinic, as we, as we mentioned, in Calabasas, November 30th from 9 a.m. to 4, 40 
uh, and we have it on myfoxla.com and stevesaxbaseball.com, okay? Right. Well, uh, Steve, great to see Thanks, you. Steve. Thank great you. to see you as well. When we come back, uh, some huge sports stars out doing something for a great cause this morning. Uh, some of famers are out there, okay? Yeah. Like Reggie. Great one. Frank Robinson. Wow. Okay. <laughs>